Greg, seventh caller right now, 866-540-WFAM. You get to go to the uh, Coaches vs. Cancer Classic semifinal doubleheader. Uh, it's all from Lord and Taylor, biggest sale of the holiday season going on now through November 14th. Seventh caller, 866-540-WFAM. So Al found this gal that's down at Penn State named Carissa Maxwell. And Carissa works for Penn State Radio and apparently was out until uh, about 2.30 in the morning uh, with all these rioters and jackasses embarrassing themselves and their families. So uh, Carissa joins us for a couple seconds here to get a little taste from what's going on on campus. Carissa, it's Boomer and Craig on the fan in New York City. How you doing, doll? I'm, I'm recovering. It was a long night. All right, so tell us, uh, what, what, what are they, are they protesting? Are they being stupid? What are they all saying, these kids? I completely agree that last night was uncalled for. Um, what people fail to understand is that we have not received any answers from our university at all. Last night was the first time we've heard from the Board of Trustees, um, and it's been very emotional down here. Yeah, but what are the kids so, saying? What, what, what's the general feeling of the student body? Is the student body, if you had a guess, the majority of them uh, in Joe Paterno's corner or supportive of what the trustees did? Most people are in support of Joe Paterno. Huh. And um, the, the problem is, though, they're expressing their reasons why the wrong way. A lot of people last night, they were just mad that he kind of coached. And it, the problem is it's not about football. Granted, we're having a great season. We're 8-1. and one. We're well on our way to go to the Big Ten Championship. And obviously, Joe Paterno has done amazing things for our football program. But it's not about football. It is about the victims, and it is about what had happened. The reason why people are backlashing against the Board of Trustees and their decision is the way the media has been covering this, and again, I'm a journalist, so it's very hard for me to kind of accept what's going on, but the media has been covering this all wrong. Uh, Jerry Sandusky was seen several times yesterday um, going around State College. He was working out at a local gym. He went on a shopping spree at Dick's, and there were no media cameras following him. But yet people are camped outside Joe Paterno's house just waiting to get a comment, and it, the entire focus of the situation and the scandal has been put on the wrong person. And, you know, to us as students... Well, it's not, not, it's it's not entirely the wrong person, Chris. I mean, it's obviously Sandusky's the bad guy here. He's, uh, you know, the big bad wolf. But the reality is that Joe Paterno is the godfather of everything in Penn State, as you know. And the issue is that how could a guy like Joe Paterno allow this to go on and not do anything about it when he was very much aware of what happened. So it's not, no one's forgetting about Sandusky, trust me. He's going to jail for the rest of his life and, and will be dealt with when he gets there. The reason people now focus on Paterno is because he's Joe Paterno and he knew what happened and did nothing about it. That's why you have people camped outside his door. Got it? Well, I, I, I understand why everybody sees that. From watching ESPN, I get that. But again, there are extreme details in this case that the media is not reporting. Well, I, I mean, a lot of people... Well, give, uh, Carissa, give us one of those yeah. details that you're talking about that may change okay. our mind. Well, for one, University Park, which is our campus, that is a self-sustained city. It's its own zip code. It has its own police department, its own health center, right. everything. So Gary Schultz, at the time, who was head of the University Park Police, that's who was informed. And people are mistaken at thinking, oh, it was only campus police. Well, no, because campus... That's its own jurisdiction. That police department is in charge of campus. It's a university park, not state college. So when Gary Schultz was informed, to Joe Paterno, that was the head of police. And another thing, too... Wait, so let me ask a question. Are you, are you personally... Uh, I'm, I'm getting the sense now that you're bothered that people are mad with Joe Paterno personally. Are you uh, one of these people that believes that Joe Paterno is being scapegoated here? I'm in the middle. Well, let, let me let me let me walk let me let me help you out here, right? Because maybe you're not mature enough to to get this, all right? A ten-year-old boy was sodomized in a shower on the facility of the Penn State Athletic Department, correct? Yes. All right. Joe Paterno was made aware of that and did not make a phone call bef during it or after to find out what was going on. Do you, are you aware of that? Yes. Okay. So it just just so I'm, I can help you out here, because maybe y your mind doesn't work right here, Carissa. How can you feel that Joe, in any way, shape, or form that Joe Paterno is being scapegoated when under his watch at least one and most likely multiple young boys were molested in his back, uh, you know, backyard, essentially? Well, first of all, 
from what I understand, he was reassured by our AD, Tim Curley. Who, He's by a way, grown still- man. He never went to, he didn't go to the police. He called his AD and never thought about it again. What part of that don't you get? I do understand that. No, I don't think you I do. do. And listen, but this is where people outside of the Penn State community... You don't have to, you, you don't have to be inside or outside. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have any connection to Penn State to understand what the man did was offensively wrong. Now, if it was up to you, would you have let him coach against Nebraska? Against Nebraska? Yeah. I would. You would have. The rest of the season? Listen, do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor, because I can't continue with this. Call your mom and dad, all right? And tell your mom and dad that you feel bad for Joe Paterno and you think he ought to coach the Nebraska game and then get back to us after your mom and dad have a talking to you, okay? Uh, my parents agree with me along with a well, lot of Well, then your parents people. are stupid, too. <laughs> Sorry. You were raised by animals. <laughs> Jeez. The fact that you think Joe Paterno did nothing wrong and uh, is being scapegoated he here is so patently offensive. I don't know why I'm wasting my time talking to you. So I'm not, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. How's that? All right, well, I, I don't think Joe okay. Paterno didn't do anything wrong. Right. I, I think he could have done more. Okay, he could have done more like what? Like maybe it, call the police well, and maybe inquire? Himself. Well, he even said himself. Yeah. Everybody calm down. He even said himself that he could have done more. I can't calm down and, because this right. is what we're producing. This kid's going to graduate broadcast journalism of Penn State and thinks that Joe Paterno should coach against Nebraska. And her mommy and daddy mm. agree with her. This is, You don't get it. How, why don't you understand that Joe Paterno's complicit in the sodomizing of a 10-year-old boy? Why because don't you don't get that? Do you know that There's Joe Paterno that. allowed this Sandusky, after he knew that he sodomized a 10-year-old boy, to still bring other kids to the Penn State campus? That doesn't no, bother you to your core? Lot. It does. It does bother No, me. apparently it doesn't. It- no, but it really does, and that's there are. So and then you many have this dopey notion that oh, because we're not Penn State graduates and we're not in Happy Valley, we can't possibly process what's really going on. It's the media's fault. Are you stupid? No, I'm not saying you, no, no. you don't know. Let me help you out. Going on. Let me help you out. Go into a different career path because this one's not for you. You're stupid. I don't know about that, Craig. Your mom is stupid. Your father is stupid. The whole family is probably stupid. Oh, poor Joe Paterno. Good idea, Al. I got to tell you, this is great. Oh, Joe Paterno's being railroaded here. He brought a pedophile on campus with free access. That doesn't bother you? It does, but I but think it doesn't not, bother you enough to, to say. Go ahead, say again. Go ahead, let me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. What do you have to say? <laughs> go ahead, let me. I want to hear your yeah. defense of letting a pedophile on campus with minors. Go ahead, explain that to me, doll. There are still a lot of facts that everybody's trying to understand. Okay, I know that Joe I know, let me. Here's more. the fact: he knew the guy was a pedophile, and he allowed the guy to bring children to the Penn State campus. What don't you get about that? I I do get that. You get but it to you one. Know but, for a fact that he knew everything. Nobody. Yes, knows. everybody knew. The police knew they're wrong. The staff that was there at the time knew they're wrong. Curly the knew. AD's going to yep. jail for it. The president got fired for it. Everybody knew. This goes back twenty five years. Come on now, yeah. Krista. You got to do better than that. You got to. You got. You can't go out there and not understand the seriousness of what this animal did. This is a predator, a hunter of young boys who did the most despicable thing you could ever do to a child. And the guy that was in charge of everything at Penn State allowed it to go on without thinking twice about it and continued to give this predator an open-door policy. You have to understand that. I do understand that. But I think you're taking my argument out of context. What what, what context? You think that There's, Joe Paterno to I'm a not, point is being railroaded. No, I just think that for the for the Penn State, this has nothing to do with your understanding. But for us, like you said before, he was a legend. He's an icon. Mm. And so is Michael Jackson. Are you let like Michael Jackson babysit your kids when he was alive? Just because the guy's a no. legend doesn't mean he's a good guy. Just because he won a lot of football games doesn't mean he's a good guy morally or any other way. 
put aside the 409 wins and look at it as a human being, Carissa. Here's a man that was told that a 10-year-old boy was being sodomized in his backyard and did nothing about it. It doesn't matter if he's a football coach. He's as much of an animal as the guy that did the act. What? Nothing to do with him being a football coach. It's the fact that he has done so much for this university. And within the past four days, everything we knew of Joe Paterno has been ripped away from us. And rightfully so. He brought a pedophile on campus. It doesn't matter what he did for 50 years. Why can't you get that through your thick skull? I do understand that. You don't understand it because every no, time I, I bring it up, you want to reference what the guy's body of work was to the community, to charities, to football. It doesn't matter. So here's what I want you to do. Go take a nap. Go, no, no, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go take a nap. I want you to think about this long and hard. And then I want you to go to one of these shelters that protects kids that have been victimized by it at and ri- get back to me next week. At risk, kids. Because you've embarrassed yourself. And if Penn State allows you to be a representative of their radio department, they should be further ashamed because you're stupid. Now go take a nap. Boy, wow. Well, I tell you what, man. I don't want to be your kid. Holy God. Yeah, you did. There's no argument there, boy, I'll tell you. Boomer really Carton on the fan. But you see, you understand what I'm saying? When you when you talk about those kids at Penn State, all they think about is, you know, he gave money to a library, he won football games, he right. built the program into a oh. $50 million a year program. That's all they think about, you know? And it's, uh, it's going to be hard to change a lot of those kids' minds. Now, I'm not saying she speaks for all of those kids. Oh, of course there. not. You know damn well that there is a group of people on that campus, and it may be a very large group, that is disgusted by what their what their what their school looks like to the outside public right now, and how about the fact she was saying that Sandusky's over at Dixon? Uh, a, a He's living his show. life. What right. the hell is he doing? Ah, uh, something else. Yeah, I was out of the studio. How'd that, uh, <laughs> how'd that go? Used- Boomer and Card on the fan. Uh, we're a little late. My, oh, my bad on that, oh, but I couldn't funny. let that go because it, it's it's just it's mind-boggling to me that people feel that way. So, uh, you know, that's the way that is. Hey, the Giants are all about winning. She's <laughs> right, kid. I, someone has to – that's the problem. And it's, you, you talk I, about all the time with kids. Yep. No one's parenting them anymore, the self, the, the title and everything else, and no one ever sat this kid down and explained to this kid right and wrong. My mommy and daddy agree with me. Shocker. And you uh, know what? I, I, all I can tell you is from a board of trustee point of view, you have no choice but to protect the of integrity course. of the school. And right now, this is the road of redemption that they're on. And you got to take steps. And sometimes those those steps are going to be painful. You know what I'm saying? No, and I people know. are going to be losing their jobs. And people's reputations are going to be ripped apart. And that's what's going on right now. Hey, listen, Adorama is with the Giants. That's why Adorama is the official electronics retailer of the New York Giants.